But anyways, um, I have always been kind of the entrepreneurial spirit. Um, like as a kid, I always had businesses. I cleaned houses. I'm like Forrest Gump. Like I've done every job. <laughs> um, and then when I came off the show, I remember being so broken hearted because I knew in my heart of heart that Ed and I were not a good fit. But I just wanted that forever love. I'm going to start crying so bad. And I wanted to be a mom so bad. I'm like, I'm starting to cry again. And I remember feeling like that was never going to happen for me. And he's you're probably going to hear this through a friend of a friend, but like, he was really so douchey to me back then. <laughs> he was not a good person to me. And so it just, instead of me seeing it as like, oh, I know I deserve better than him. It was the opposite for me. Like, how does he not see that I have so much to offer? Like, mm -hmm. it just totally, totally broke my heart. And um, I was very sick at that time, like mentally. I think I was like 96 pounds. And this is when Caitlin was coming off of The Bachelorette. And Oh, no, sorry. No, I'm mixing up my timeline. <laughs> but um, I just remember being so sick and feeling like I was never going to find myself. And my family and friends just kept on reminding me of like, but what were you before that? You now have this platform and this opportunity to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And that is sort of like what fueled my fire to just go, okay, I know this is going to happen for me eventually. I just need to focus on what I can control right now. And it was everything from like interior design to communicating, to connecting people, to creating, giving back to charities, storytelling, all of that. Mm -hmm. And so now, um, you know, and then of course I did, I did a, th a thing for a while, you know, remember Extreme Makeover Home Edition? Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did that for a few seasons. Oh shit, I got to plug in my computer. Um, I did that for a few seasons. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> it's a disaster. And then uh, I got offered like this, um, uh, what is that show I did for seven years? Love It or List It Vancouver. Mm -hmm. It was on HGTV. Um, I'm just like babbling. I'm going to give you guys a chance to ask any questions. No, um, they want to hear from you though. Yeah, but while I was doing that, um, I, I did love it. But I felt like I didn't have my own voice. I felt like an actress. I mm -hmm. felt like I showed up on set. I got my makeup done, which was the best part of the day. Mm -hmm. And then I just did what I was told. And even though it was great money and like a great opportunity, I felt like my energy was better used out there, doing what I wanted to talk about, telling my story the way I wanted to tell it. Mm -hmm. And so after I had... Leo and I was pregnant with Annie and they after seven seasons and they asked me to come back and I had no maternity leave with any of the kids um maternity leave on Canadian standards is pretty awesome so I probably, <laughs> did, have, I did, probably did have Matt leave the American style but not, <laughs> not Canadian style and so I just kind of said I'm not going to go back for any more seasons um until I can just take a break and spend some time with the kids and grow my business and so that's kind of where I am right now. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, okay, now spending the last year being like, okay, what am I now that I'm not a TV host? What, what else can I do? So.